Let's talk a bit about Bitcoin. Bitcoin has had a bit of a revival and it's back into its range. You see, last week the price was trying to trade below uh, 28,588 and managed to do so here on May 26th and then again on May 27th. So normally when you break a level like this, a horizontal level with many stop loss orders just below it, the price just continues to trade lower. So it's not looking too great for, for the price, uh, but price managed to push higher. And now we're sort of stuck in a range and you might think it's a time to buy. Well, if one is like a long-term investor and one would like to do some dollar cost averaging, then yes, I don't think it's a bad idea. But you just need to be ready to hold this for a year or two year and effectively buying a little bit every month. So what am I looking for? I am actually looking for this to be rejected here and then trade lower and then push higher. That way we have uh, at least a bit of a better range and then possibly pushing higher instead of you know trying to chase this and, and for this to go to the upside like that. If we look as well at Ethereum, Ethereum managed to push higher as well. But here we are dealing still with a bit of a downtrend. We're still sort of limited by this area here. And it, it does look like the price bottomed out here. But with these lower and lower highs here, limiting price, I'm actually not too enthusiastic about this. And again, we prefer this to you know maybe go up like that and then go lower. And then maybe in two weeks push higher. I think that would be a better uh, opportunity but you know how people are so it wouldn't surprise me if the price goes up like that and then potentially then just tanks like that uh, as people fomo into ethereum and in bitcoin